Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you what a transducer is. First of all, uh, transducers are of many kinds and they convert basically a kind of energy or some kind of incoming energy into some kind of electrical signal. Now, the energy might be something like a movement or sound or light. Those are the kinds of energies we're talking about. Obviously, the most common ones uh, which are used nowadays are the light-sensitive components like photodiodes, photocells. These directly convert the incident light into an electrical signal which can be used to, well, for example, detect how bright light is. You'll have one of these in your camera, of course, to detect how bright it is so that the camera is automatically set. You also have sound-sensing devices these sound devices are often used, uh, again, in, uh, for example, uh, an automatic camera, an automatic recorder, so that as the sound gets louder, it reduces the amplification so that it doesn't uh, make the sound particularly difficult to listen to. Movement sensors, obviously, with many experiments in laboratories, we like to detect movement, and movement can be detected either physically by... Uh, using a sensor and, and physically measuring the, the distance. It could be a distance sensor, or it could be something sensing that there is a movement and give you a signal accordingly. For example, we have a lot of movement sensors now which uh, are installed in houses or in factories to see if somebody is there. And you will experience these particularly when you go around houses and so forth and on come the lights. It's a movement sensor. Piezo crystals are devices which sense pressure and these are very useful the pressure sensitive devices which can be used to detect changes of shape in buildings for example so basically that is what transducers are